I like the way I'm feeling. I can't touch this feeling. I mean my feelings. Batman. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today in this video, girl, I'm just waking up. I have to be at the aesthetic center at 11. It is now. Come on, what time is it? Alexa, what time is it? The time is 10.16 a.m. Okay, so we're making good time. It's 10.16. We're going to go ahead and walk out the door. I'm going to get my I'm laser... I'm not sure how to help you with that. I'm on my way to get my laser hair removal. It's one of the things that I love getting done for myself because I do grow sporadic hairs, you know, on the face in places you just don't want. And then I've learned that I don't need to be razor in my face. That is like the worst thing I could do. And I hate the way it makes my skin look and feel after I've razored. But laser has been like the best thing ever for me. I've been doing this for a while now. At the last spa that I went to, I had a Groupon. I always get all this stuff on really, really good at Groupon deals. And I had like a year's worth of sessions for maybe, maybe 200 bucks, I think it was. It was something to that effect. Um, very cheap. And they specialize in um, dark hairs on the dark skin. Now, I've been to places that are just take your money and they will use the totally, totally wrong razor on our melanated skin, which only leads to burns on the faces and you still end up with the hair on the face. So nothing... Nothing happens for you but having a burnt up face. But these places that I've been going to lately have been getting me right. I absolutely love my face. I love the way it looks. It just makes the hairs um, less noticeable, really, really thin until it just finally just goes all the way and it just feels so smooth. Though I'm good where I am right now, I just want to make sure that it goes away permanent because it can be permanent though they don't like to say that but i haven't had as nearly as bad of a time as i have previously since um having this done so i suggest that if you can um do this for yourself do it go with hair removal with the laser okay just do it you will love it i mean it's so much better than running a razor over your face and i know it is so dark in my place but yeah, I'm going to go ahead and grab my purse because we got to stop by the FedEx store to pick up, no, UPS. Stop by UPS to pick up a package that I, I guess I had to sign for, it, but I was at work yesterday. So yeah, let's get out of here. Alright, so we just pulled up at the UPS store. Alright, so now we have the package. Now we're going to head over to my appointments. I actually beat the drop off for my package. The UPS man was just pulling up to drop off the packages so my thing is why well, put the thing on the door telling me to pick it up after eight if my package isn't even going to be available after 8 a.m but nonetheless i got the package so I'm not going to complain i don't even know what this is it can't be my actual you amazon order because Alexa told me that was out for delivery and that guy that was in there is the guy that does my deliveries. Oh, it's a wig. Okay, okay. So we got some new hair. We've been getting new hair all week, which is cool. So I'll be back with the hair reviews really soon for you. Let's see who this one's from. All right, the lights are green. Alley bun, I do believe it says Alley bun hair. The packaging is like purple and gold, but 
we'll get into this this week. We'll definitely get into the week reviews. Let me just set that to the side. But yeah, we're almost there. This one is like super close. The place that I used to go to all the time was in Decatur, Alabama. So I went with these people because the spa here, the aesthetic center rather, it's gorgeous. It's really nice and it's really close. All right, so we just arrived. So pretty inside. Thank you. So I'm back at home. I'm gonna whip with me a quick lunch, you know, while I rest before I have to go into work. I have to go to work at three o'clock. But yeah, we're gonna have some sausage and onions. I'm gonna go ahead and chop up the onions and the peppers. I got to add peppers and onions to my Walmart delivery order. Cause girl, I go through my my onion and my bell pepper. These are a staple. I'm just going to chop it directly into the pan. All right, now I'm just going to add some pepper, season it up. Yes. All right, just a quick little lunch, peppers. Onions and sausage. I add pepper jack cheese, but today we're not going to do the most. We're just going to have uh, a little mustard and call it a day, girl. Hey guys, welcome back. Today is Thursday, March 24th. I'm on my way out for an appointment before I go to work. Um, so yeah, we're gonna go downtown for this Smile Direct Club pop-up. Y'all remember back in the day I tried Smile Direct Club. But girl, that was just a headache within itself. I never got results. My retainers never fit. Like after the first two or three weeks, it was just the worst. I still have the big old box of retainers that they sent under my bed. But they're saying this time, if I go in to this little pop-up shop, they're going to do a 3D scan of my teeth. And this is just going to be a, a win for me. This is going to work, but we'll see. So let's go ahead and get out the door. Um, girl, we just got to... Easy breezy casual look, um, a fatigue jacket, distressed denim, and my foam runners by Adidas, the Yeezy foam runners. Let me add that. <laughs> but yeah, girl, let's go. I really don't want to go. I don't. I'm so hungry. I haven't ate um, any lunch or breakfast. I'm so hungry. So we'll get something to eat too while we're out. Hopefully, I got some chapstick. In my purse we'll we'll find out in the car i should have some but yeah all right we're down here okay they're working on the roads a bit we just passed some really cute things but it gets even cuter down here it is building up so pretty you know what i want to go right I got the, um, I'm going to turn right on red. We're going to do it. All the little rooftop spots and bars. Oh, they got cookie dough magic down here. It is so cute. 
Okay, since I done made it down here, we're gonna pop up anyway at the pop up and see if we can pop on in a little early. All right, so it's 12.23. I just parked my car across the street from the hotel because the whole parking situation looks a little sketchy. There weren't any right outside the building. All of those were taken, and then it would have me to go around to a parking garage, and y'all know I got to go to work and still go home and change clothes to get ready for work. I got to be at work at 3. It is 12.24, so I'm really not trying to be here very long, so I really hope this only takes 30 minutes omgg i'm watching the parking lot right now like that's in front of the doors so i could just zoom back over and grab one of those parking spaces as it'll be best but everything primarily over there is handicapped parking but we're gonna go ahead and make our way over there and make sure i got my id and anything else i might need for this I shouldn't need my cards and stuff, but I'm still gonna take the monies. Just in case. But yeah, girl, I've been dealing with this direct, um, direct, I was gonna call it direct club, the Smile Direct Club stuff for two years now. Um, like I said, my first set of aligners, um, the first month, fit my mouth perfectly it was actually working i was feeling the pains of the teeth moving but then after that girl when i say my kit my aligners are up they were just a little a, a little too ambitious because girl i could fit these crooked ass teeth in those things they were literally straight after a month after the after the second month like what I get that this works, but i don't think it worked that fast like i literally could not fit them like the aligners were like literally straight like ain't no way ain't no way this one right here was gonna fit in those aligners it was just ridiculous and then when i resubmit the impression kits because they kept sending me impression kit after impression kit to do it over again they didn't tell me that it was denied 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 do it again something's not right Something's not right. Do it again. More pressure. So I've done that a total of like nine times. This is going to be my 10th. Well, this will be my first time getting um, an actual 3D scan with um, a person, an agent, or what have you. Oh, 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 a oh, parking space just freed up over there. I'm going to be so hurt if I don't get it. But I'm literally across the street. I should get it. But th this is like a 3D scan where they're going to do it all. And it should be, you know, spot on when they do it. So hopefully I won't have my crooked teeth after um, five or six months. Because they say this takes six months. No, I'm not wearing my seat belts. I'm literally um, just drove across the street. <laughs> So we're across the street now. I was stalking. Oh, that is annoying though. Let me put it on. This parking spot until someone moved. Because girl, like I said, I want to be in and out of here. So the pop-up shop is in here. This is the Hampton Inn downtown Huntsville. This is brand new. I think it's like maybe a year or two old if that two years tops if anything everything down here is almost brand new it looks like a big city now all right so hopefully this yields the results that i'm going to need and then when i was um uh, calling them trying to set this up you know um explaining to them how long it's been and how frustrating this has been submitting impression kit after impression kit only to be told that oh it's not good enough we need you to do it again after eight nine times like this just seems kind of scammy it feels like a scam because i've been paid for this this ended up costing me right at a thousand dollars to have my teeth fixed like i paid for this over a year ago well over a year ago only for my teeth to still look like this so 
yeah because i can pull up my paid and full invoice right now in my account so i'm going to make sure i voice that again in a sweet manner because girl I, I'm not one to just go all rah-rah, which brings me to something that happened to me here a couple of days ago. Girl, I dealt with a male Karen at my job, and y'all know I work in the service industry. I work for an airline. When I tell you this man was just off his, his, his rocker over something that was totally out of my control, but he kept accusing me of canceling the flight like I was flattered, okay? that you think that highly and think that I could just cancel a flight. I could single-handedly cancel a flight, but no, it doesn't work like that. The flight was canceled due to, um, to, to weather. Okay. So when that happens, um, it just happens. And we never learn about cancellations until they actually happen almost the same time as the passengers do. So that was totally beyond you know, the gate agent, the ticket agent, the supervisor, that's out of our control. But girl, when I told you this man called me despicable and told me I was a horrible person for canceling that flight and I had no reason to be canceling the flight, girl, I I couldn't believe what I was hearing. But yet, you know, I stand there and, and listen patiently and calmly until he lets me speak, okay? And then after I'm explaining to him the situations, when I tell you this man whipped out his cell phone and started just snapping pictures girl taking video and now the scorpio in me now i'm girl i'm 38 hot but hmm, i proceeds to pull mine out too he just what do you got your phone out for i said for the same reason you got yours out i said for one you can take some of that va that bass out your voice all of this is unnecessary and sir no one here in this airport has the ability to just cancel the flight just to be canceling the flight. It was canceled due to weather. Yes, we may see a few sprinkles outside here, but we don't know the weather conditions uh, for the route in which you're taking. That could super be like that could really be something like super severe that doesn't warrant flying in. But some people are like they don't understand that. Like I feel like I feel like now this is just me. I don't know how y'all feel, but I think I can respect having a flight being delayed other than you risking my life and taking me up there then something happened and and now ugh, you know maybe the plane gets hit with lightning and now we didn't fail or anything and then they can't see due to heavy rains fall or something and now we didn't fill out this guy too like i think about all that kind of stuff i just feel like some people don't think of like the worst case scenario in times and i try not to be um pessimistic about a lot of things but as it pertains to flying around and just doing the most i don't think i really want to do that in in inclement weather like i'd rather it be uh blue sunny skies outside if i'm finna be if i'm finna be flying or maybe some light rain light rain is fine for me i can deal with that but i don't think i ever want to be doing it in thunder and lightning like that seems scary and i just feel like people should appreciate that but let me say this what time is it? It's 12.32. And I said I wanted to go in here and stand around and see if they can get me in here early. But let me say this while I'm on the roll. I want to... But while the guy was, you know, super pissed about the flight being canceled and want to call me out my name and tell me that I'm all these things. Um, so he also went into demanding compensation. It, it, I get it. We as people, we feel like we're owed something when something doesn't go our way. But truth is you're not unless it's something that the airline could have controlled you're not getting any type of compensation you're not getting compensation because the air um the airline decided to cancel the flight due to weather they did that for your safety and plus the airline can't control the weather that's considered an act of god okay but if it was something like mechanical um are delayed due to the crew or just just something that they could have controlled or better or, or like scheduling or something like that then yes um you are in your right to ask why the, the flight was canceled why it's delayed and uh, depending upon the reason then yes um if it sounds airline controllable then yes you can ask for compensation you can ask um for something because you know, you're warranted that in that in that moment, especially if they can't get you 
um, to your destination that day because that happens a lot where you'd have to spend the night in a connecting city and fly out in the morning. The airline will pay for your hotel room. They will. And in those cases, have you ever heard people say, well, I got bumped off the flight? Well, that usually happens when the flight is overbooked. That means that the, the plane has more passengers than they got seats. That means somebody asked when going to get on in the beginning because they overbooked the flight. So when that happens, yes, it's very unfortunate for the person who's not getting on. And it usually goes by um, the last person who checks in. So you usually won't get on if you check in last. That's why it's always best to check in as fast as you can. And you can only check in 24 hours prior, you know? So I will always do it the day before in the fast. As soon as you think about it, just do it from your phone. You don't have to get in your car and go to the airport to do it. You can do it from your airline's app, their website. You know, you can do it. You can do it online. You can even print your boarding passes. You can have a mobile um, boarding pass on your phone. So it's kind of easy to do that. But I get it. You know, people are busy and you forget to do that. And you just say, oh, I'll just do it when I get to the airport. I get it because I've done that many times too. But those are times in which you are warranted compensation. Okay, and as far as being bumped, if you are bumped, you do get a sizable check. You get your choice of a check. Most people choose the check, and I would too. And those can be really nice sometimes. So you get to choose between a check. I'm sitting out here. Oh, I'm about to get all oily. Um, or um, a flight voucher. The flight vouchers are usually higher in value, but you know the check is the check, girl. That's cash. That's cash money. You can go um, down to the M&M store and buy you a big bag of blue M&Ms with the money if you want to. It's yours to do whatever you want with. You're not limited to just spending it on a flight. You can just do whatever you want. You can go fill your tank up 20 times with that check if you want to. You can do whatever you want. But yeah, you do get compensated for that. Those are the type of things that you get compensated for. Um, but yeah, but not because the plane is canceled due to weather that is for your safety and the safety of the crew so remember that and 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 just keep that in the back of your mind like ain't nobody out here trying to get hurt or lose their lives to get you to where you're going and you know i know you want to get there hell i always want to get to where i'm going but i have to respect weather situations but it's 12 36 let's go in here and apply a little pressure on these folks and see if we can get in this seat <laughs> all right there's a little smile direct club sign hey all right everybody's telling me what to do i wonder do i just sign in Y'all, I'm so lost. I don't know what they want me to do. Maybe they don't break. That's cool. We'll just sit here and wait. They got a little time. All right. Okay. That's it. So, open it.
right, so here's my scan. Oh my God, teeth cocked like a pistol. <laughs> that was painless and quick. Y'all, it's 109 and we're done. All right, guys, that went well. And it was pretty fast too, thank you, Jesus. So they did give me some goodies. Um, what do they got? Some teeth whitener. The teeth whitener is really, really good. And I think this is the um, their light. Let's see how it looks. I'm gonna show it to you. And I like that it comes in this little case. Though my aligners will come with this little case, but I can see me using this too for it. No, I'll just keep this in it. But this is your teeth whitening light. Okay, that's cute. A lip balm. Smells real good. It smells like oh, vanilla. What is this? Phone adapters. Oh, so you can use it with your phone. That is really nice. Let's open it while we're here. Let's just open it up. Well, I probably need some scissors. Oh, there we go. It's coming. Oh, neat. It comes with little phone adapters so that you can use your phone to power it. Look at that. Where am I? Can you see me? That is awesome. So nice. We'll put all of this back in here. But yeah, this was worth my time. I'm glad I did this, so we'll see. Um, so it's gonna take at least about four weeks to get my aligners in. You know, it always takes some time, but I don't think the first time it took like four weeks. I probably got them back after they reviewed my um, my teeth. I probably got my aligners within two weeks, so. I'm a very patient person, so it don't. I get them when I get them. And the teeth whitener though is bomb. They used to sell it in Walmart. I don't know if they still have that little contract with Walmart where they sell this. But yeah, this is cute. Smiling is contagious. So that's nice. I like this little bag. I can haul my junk around in it to work. All right, girl, I'm gonna get some Chick-fil-A. And um, yeah. I gotta put my work clothes on, put this in my purse. I'm glad I did this. I'm really happy. So maybe this will be um, what's gonna fix my teeth this time. This is gonna do it. I'm confident. Maybe it's not a scam after all. I'm confident that this is going to work. But yeah, I can't wait to see. It usually takes. Um, six months for this whole treatment to be completed and i should see results within two to three months so uh, that's something to look forward to i'm happy about this but nonetheless we're gonna find the chick-fil-a i like cruising the streets downtown during the day to see all the new developments like i said it's so nice down here All right, Chick-fil-A. Let's go this way. Let's just continue straight. That way you can get a, a better look at the downtown area. But it is so cute. Maybe one day I can move into one of these lofts downtown. I feel like this would be so much fun. If I could just do it for a year, that would be so much fun. All these little lights are just so close together down here. So problematic for me. So cute though. is beautiful.
too cute. It gives you city vibes, but yet country feels as well, like an old city town, old downtown vibes. It gives you that as well. And I can't believe we have so many boutique hotels down here now. This is like the hospital. It's on both sides of the street. The hospital, the Huntsville Hospital is huge. Though we have another major hospital here as well. But the Huntsville Hospital is humongous. All right, now there's a Chick-fil-A, a new one somewhere over here. I'm just taking stabs in the dark right now. We're just riding but I think it's gonna be to the right okay. yeah all of this is hospital and doctor's offices oh yeah there's the chick-fil-a This furniture store is so old. It's been in business for forever. This Starbucks is gorge. All right, now how in the hell do we get in here? I don't understand. I don't understand. What's wrong right here? All right, so this is how we turn into the Chick-fil-A. This is kind of weird so i gotta circle around but chick-fil-a's are known for doing the most i just want to get in the line to order this is so scary All right, there's like a little walk-up area to order. I've never seen one of these before. That's new to me. All right, so I ordered the number two, Spicy Deluxe. The Deluxe comes with um, lettuce, tomato, and pepper jack cheese with a root beer. Should've got a shake too. Finally getting my car washed. back to my channel today is saturday it is march 26th and we are out here in these streets today um i'm about to go pick up my little buddy we're gonna go do some lunch have desserts um i have a few errands to run and then i don't know we're probably just gonna just make a fun day out of this and then come back home and relax maybe watch a movie and then i don't know what i'm doing tonight i kind of have plans but then again i don't know if i really have plans because my partners ain't hit me up and said a time but we were trying to go to this new spot and check it out it's like a um 
upscale bowling alley and bar so I hope that we get to do that but I don't know because I haven't heard from anybody yet I'll probably start texting around 5 to see what's going on so that gives me like 3 hours because it's like 2 o'clock right now but girl I plan to have a litty Saturday okay some good food some good drinks and get me some good rest I slept in today I didn't get up till noon yeah it was a kind of a long night at work but I still got off at a decent time um I just needed my rest you know how that is just need your rest girl I had to get my beauty sleep so now I am in these streets so we're going into Huntsville to pick up my little buddy Hadn't seen him in forever. It's been at least two years. Okay. But yeah, we're going to do a little hanging out, like I said. So I should be approaching him in about 15 minutes or so. Because almost from every point from Huntsville to Huntsville or Madison to Huntsville, almost Madison to Madison, it takes about 15 minutes to get almost anywhere in the area. So it'll take me about 15 minutes to get to him. But girl, we just want to have a low-key, fun-filled, rest-filled Saturday. That's what we're going to do. That's the green room, a.k.a. 47, Club 47. <laughs> we're in these Huntsville streets today. All right, so we just pulled up to Bridge Street. Like everybody and their mama's out today. Little Ian and I are pulling up for a little lunch and some desserts, some sweet treats. Everybody's out shopping. It's a nice day. The weather's great. I'm going to walk out here in front of a car. Look at this. You gotta walk on out. About to give you about six points. Wipe your face and stuff because um, there's a lot of pollen out here. So there's Bell Corn Grill. Uh, we're going to Urban Cookhouse. It's going to be right over here. Yeah, it's like right there. The Urban Cookhouse place. Mm. Mm. Right, guys, it took us like five minutes to find a decent parking spot. The sun is just doing the most right now. Those are for little kids. But they have like all this kind of meat and stuff to eat. I'm gonna have the um steak. Mm -hmm. Alright, so I think we just came out. I got the cilantro lime steak and Ian has the chicken and rice with the salad. It was a huge, but it is so yummy. We're gonna dig in. Okay. Well next we're gonna go have our food was yummy. Now we're gonna go have cookies from the Great American Cookie Store. agave and rice the taco place it is so cute inside and the tacos are pretty good too their drinks are good as well look at this place look how cute it is super cute all right we're enjoying our day we have our sweet treats <laughs> cheeky i still got you <laughs> So we just got packages we're opening stuff that just came. I know those are things that I actually ordered from um, Sam's Beauty. And then I got this from Ubisize. We'll see how we can use this. This will be good for filming my 
nail tutorial videos. I gotta see what what it looks like assembled. But Ian and I are on our way out for ice cream. You almost got that box open. Oh yeah, that's my wig head for making wigs and keeping my uh, wig on display. And I got some, two new synthetic units in there. So then I ordered a dome head, but yikes. I think I might have ordered this shit too big. Ian, it is huge. I had to go back and look at the um, slip. Did it come with a piece of paper in there? I wanna see what size I bought. No paper in there. I think it's a 25. It is huge. But nonetheless, it still should be sufficient for what I want to do with it. Because I hate making my wigs on those little foam heads and then they be too tight. But yeah, this should work. But yeah, that's my normal wig that I wear all the time. And, or is it this one that I wear? Well, no, it's this one that I, I've never tried before. But they're cute, we'll see. So we just got our ice cream. I have Southern banana pudding and strawberry. Ian has the same thing. How do you like it? Yeah, it is pretty good. All right, guys, so we've reached the end of the video. But I want to create uh, a cute cocktail for you at the end of my vlogs because this is one of my favorite ways to relax on my days off is creating cocktails, girl, relaxing, sitting on the couch with your drink, getting in the bed with your drink and watching your good movies, your, your favorite TV shows, and it's just nothing better than having a good old cocktail, okay? But this one we're making today, it's called the Purple Haze. It's one of my club favorites. It's one of the drinks that I almost always order when I'm out with my friends eating chicken wings. And the club is the Purple Haze. You're going to need vodka. This is the vodka that I use. It's by Kettle One. But you can use any type of vodka for this. But this one just happens to be one of my favorites along with the Grey Goose and Belvedere. I love Belvedere. Um, you're going to need some lemon lime soda and you're going to need some cranberry and you're going to need your blue curacao now a lot of people like to call this caraca this is not caraca that word is pronounced curacao and i mostly always hear that in black clubs curacao okay but these are the ingredients you're going to need to make the infamous purple haze so we're gonna go ahead and get right into it now you can add your ingredients however you see fit so we're just gonna go ahead and just start and you don't have to be a professional bartender to do this I like to um, usually hit it at the end with my soda but I just want to show you that you can still get a good drink no matter the order in which you add your contents Still gonna be good. Now look, this is for me personally. I ain't gonna measure my shot. This is for me. That was a little stiff. That was a good pour, honey. I like a good old pour. That was just about a normal shot, though. I'm gonna hit it with a little more cranberry. All right. And then we're gonna open our curacao, and this is gonna give it its purpley tinge. You're gonna pour it until it turns purple. All right, there we go. That should be it. Now I'm going to grab a spoon and stir it up. All right, I have something better than a spoon. We're going to use this gold straw that I have. You're going to stir it and stir it and stir it. There we go. And now it has like a deep purpley look to it. OMGG. Now, if you're not satisfied with the look, you can add a little more cranberry to adjust your look. But there it is. That is the perfect purple right there so good looking look at that oh i'm gonna go ahead and take a sip mm, that's it right there that's the one all right girl i hope you like today's video make sure you try this drink this one's easy it's delicious it goes well with chicken wings and any other kind of club fried delectable this one is a good one to have while eating in the club or just having a good time in general the purple haze is just a good drink i absolutely love it it's one of my favorites but yeah 
make sure you subscribe to my channel hit that notification bell so that you don't miss any of my uploads until next time i will see you in my next video and there will definitely be another video and don't forget to garnish your glass you can use lemon lime or cherries in it to cuten it up but girl i'm at home it's just me this is what it is for me bye